All right, upgrading the storage drawers. That's what we're doing today. Storage drawers mod for 1.12.2, we are trying to upgrade our storage drawers. And we'll get to that today. Basically, we are playing a thinking pack. Welcome to you, welcome to the day, welcome to the stream. Let me go ahead and exit full screen just so that it toggles certain things that seems to speed up the frame rate. But a thinking pack is basically a mod pack where we are in space, we are in the asteroid belt, we are trying to survive, we are trying to explore or do different things, we are trying to build massive automation, we are trying to do things of that nature. Last time we set up, well we uh, continued setting up the storage drawers because basically we have in our base here, we have automation, we have in fact got, oops, we've got hoppers right in the way. And a l that's odd, not sure where this uh, frame rate issues are coming from suddenly. But, that's besides the point, that should sort itself out, it's probably because I just have just loaded the game. But anyways, back to the point. The point is, here, as you can see, we have a massive uh, contraption, or machine. You can say either word, either one works, but not both at once. That would be like, that would be pretty much how you pronounce that. So, that is that. So basically, this is where we take, oh, this is an automatic tree farm, in case you were wondering. <laughs> but over here, we have... Cobble generator, automatic cobble generator, that goes in here, we use programmable computers and things, and put these things into hammers, the hammers take the cobblestone, turn it into gravel, sand, and dust, a massive contraption to do that as fast as possible, then we also have here, it takes the gravel, sand, and dust, and sifts them into a variety of materials, zinc and silver and iron and etc, etc, all kinds of things, and we have that coming in to the basement we've just set up last time, a rather odd looking contraption in order to basically sort all these things into drawers but it was not completely done we do need an elevator here that would help somewhat but basically oh actually we're getting low on oxygen hang on we need to refill our oxygen so that we don't die that would be ideal we don't yet have fully working oxygen in the base which obviously would be ideal to have but we don't have that yet but Welcome to the day, welcome to the stream. We are currently trying to upgrade our drawers. We've got to do some things with this. We've got to, in particular, these particular drawers, these are storage drawers, and they have the ability to, I think I picked up a golden nugget. Okay, don't need that. Basically, these drawers have the ability to store things. You can take out gold blocks. Oh, not sure why it's going in my inventory instead of in my hand, but that works. Okay. Gold blocks, gold ingots, gold nuggets, different things like that. These drawers, each one of these will fill until it is full. We want, let's say, this block for iron, this block for whatever that thing is. Not entirely sure. It looks like aluminum. We need to upgrade these things, though, because there are some particular things we need. We need to be able to tell when they are full without having to open the GUI. We want to be able to just look at it and see which ones are full. More importantly, though, our particular machine for producing materials has a particular thing that is involved with it, and that particular thing is that the way our machine produces materials, it produces them at different rates. So for example, if we want to have a kajillion diamond blocks, as you can see, we only have almost a stack of diamond blocks, not quite a stack. So that is good, except that we won't get many more of those because our storage is clogged because the machine that produces diamond blocks at a rate of, I don't know what it was, maybe 5% or something, produces diamonds. Uh, also, oh, sorry, <laughs> someone put something under the door and I completely uh, got startled. Um, okay, so basically, here we go. I'm going to have to read that note in a second. Uh, basically, what we have here is the iron gets produced very, very quickly. Very quickly, we get so much iron, this thing's probably full already. And diamonds, we don't have enough diamonds. So we need to basically find a way of voiding certain items, which produces its own complications. We need to void iron so that we get enough diamonds. And then if we can fill up that barrel with diamonds, that would be great. Void the excess iron so that we keep all of our stocks full. But obviously voiding the excess iron, that means that our metal production machine will be running full speed constantly. And if it is running full speed constantly, that means that it will be draining power constantly, which is obviously not ideal. So we'll need to upgrade these things 
with possibly larger storage, but mostly the voiding upgrade. But we also need a way of it sending a redstone signal in order to be able to tell when to shut off those machines, which is going to be, I'm not entirely sure. In fact, I have not an, a no idea how to work out the logistics of how to get that machine to shut off when these drawers are full, each drawer individually. Not sure how to make that work, but that is a thing. So we need to get on to all that today. It gets really, really complicated indeed. Lives when to say is you might want to install one of the mods that tells you what block you are looking at. Most of them support telling you about the drawer contents. Uh, last I checked, uh, I just, I don't know, I think the licensing looked complicated last I checked. Um, I didn't, I don't remember what license it was. Maybe it was just I didn't want to read a custom license or something. Uh, but that would be a good idea, though. If it's anything to say is don't forget to read the door, <laughs> the door note, just saying, because I know I would forget. Yep. Uh, if it's anything to say is also don't read it out loud. Yeah. So I will be back momentarily. All right. Sorry about that. Um, just noticed one thing, that the Be Right Back scene actually doesn't have um, the game sound, which would have made it pretty boring. So hang on. Let's go ahead and add that. That would be that. There we go. That should be better. Okay, so... Uh, here we go. So just one moment. Uh, that was actually, for those of you guys who are curious, that was my sister asking if I could turn the Wi-Fi on uh, and trying not to disturb. So <laughs> I guess uh, me getting startled kind of didn't help the not disturbed aspect. But uh, wait, wait. Huh? Inval- why won't it- hang on. No, caps lock isn't on. Um, okay, so I'm trying to turn the Wi-Fi on and I can't turn it on. I can't get into the router for some reason. That is weird. But anyways, uh, so that's what we need to do today. We have a lot of things to do. If you guys want to chat while I'm trying to figure out how to do this, that would be great. Uh, that would be up to you. What am I doing wrong? It's the same- It's autofilling characters. Why is it autofilling characters? That's what's happening. I'm typing in the password, hit enter, it adds like three extra characters, and then says it's invalid. Of course it's invalid. You're adding extra characters. Why is it doing that? Okay. Well, um, as I always like to say, for the minigame streams, for those of you guys who watch that, uh, we can chat about tech stuff, we can chat about Minecraft stuff. One of the tech stuff to chat about is why I'm trying to log into the router. Why is it auto-filling extra characters? Let me try in a different browser. Um, yeah, it's, oh, okay, it auto-filled them that time, but it let me in. I don't know why that is, but anyway, okay, okay, okay. Bit of a rocky start today, but we are on our way. We are... Okay, that is on now. That is great. All right. That being that will be great. Okay, so what do we have here? We have... Uh, I'm going to put that over there. Okay. Literally say is check that it doesn't have mic sounds if you didn't check. No, it is... It has nothing. The... Talking about the OBS display scene. Um, for... Not the... The... the be right back scene. That's the word for it. Okay, back to the point. The point is 
that we have some storage drawers upgrades to do. All right, all right, all right. So what do we have here? We have a whole bunch of drawers. Now, we have a bunch of things to do with these drawers. We have particularly, um, I think the first step is probably, because here's the thing. We have, if you look over there, we've got like two drawers for coal, three for flint. The trouble with that, of course, is that we don't actually have, um, like we, we want to have them only in one drawer. Now, how do we fix that? Well, I think the best thing to do is two things. We need to do a whole bunch of upgrades. We need to do the voiding upgrade, and we should upgrade the capacity so that we have a bigger storage. But um, then after that, then we should start transferring the things into the drawer. So that's the first step. We can get, if we get to it, this stream, get to setting up the uh, nuclear reactor properly, getting that finalized, as, well, not finalized, but fixed. That would be the idea, update the program and uh, configure it and all that. So, okay, let's get into this here. So, um, what do we need? We need a whole bunch of upgrade templates. So, these upgrade templates require basic drawers and require sticks. So, where are the drawers? What do you use to make drawers? Basic drawers take, what? Chests and wood. See, this is where the tree farm comes in in very very useful indeed very useful indeed because this particular tree farm and we should probably fix those two turtles not sure why they got off track but the other ones seem to be fine but we can just go ahead and grab as much wood as we want we actually have a fair amount of wood already but i think if we just grab another half stack might be a good idea half stack of logs let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of drawers let's just make actually you know what let's make a stack of drawers if we can that would be eight chests let's go for 16 chests because I think that the, where was it, the compacting, was it the compacting drawer? I think it was the compacting drawer. I think it uses a drawer, yeah, it uses drawers in its recipe. So if we make as many drawers as possible, that would be ideal. That would be ideal indeed. So let's go ahead and grab this, grab the chests like that, and grab the oak wood planks. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Happy Turkey the Third says, thank you, now I have internet. <laughs> that is nice. We need to get that wire. Uh, we have an ethernet wire. For those of you guys who are curious, tech stuff, we have a ethernet wire that is set to be able to go into Happy Duck's room over there, but I can't figure out how to get it past the door without it getting like cut inside the hinge of the door. You don't want to cut the wire, obviously. So that's kind of the thing. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to try to solve that sometime, try to figure that out. There's got to be some way of tacking it on to the, uh, to the side of the door frame, or something along those lines. But there's 53 chests already. Happy to the third says, how did you, how did you do it in the other rooms? The other rooms, see, here's the thing. For those of you guys who are uh, curious, basically there are, there's like leverage, things like that. So when you have doors and you're trying to get something that doesn't get like pinched inside where the door hits the frame, the, uh, the easiest way to have it not get damaged, the thing that you're trying to get through the doorway, is if it's on the, la the latch side because then the door just comes, swings, and like hits the frame. But if you have leverage at the hinge side of the door, then it's a lot more easily a lot more easy to damage or like cut something or whatever if you're trying to send a cable through behind it um that's kind of an issue Ooh, we've just made a whole pile of chests okay so that is enough chests let's go ahead and take a stack of chests and make these into drawers that looks like a drawer that is a drawer indeed livery sales Mentioning the off-track tree farm turtles, could you show me their terminals? Dot lemma slash position files and dot movement stack files. Uh, we can take a look at that momentarily. Let's just craft all the wood that we have in our inventory into drawers. And then we should be good to grab some more wood and we'll take a look at that on the way over. So basic drawers, we have 27 basic drawers so far. That's nice. That's off to a good start. We need a lot more wood. Okay, so this particular one, let's see who, whoa. Unknown obstruction. Llama could be lost. Delete the dot llama folder if you believe that it is. Checkpoints ran in this instance. 
your leaves. Oh, so it must be... It must be because it restarted so many times that it cleared, like, Reset Llama or something. That seems to be that seems to be what's uh, what's going on with this one at least. Let's check the other one. This particular one has even llama is lost. Delete the dot llama folder checkpoints ran in this instance. Clear leaves. Yeah. Okay. So not sure what all this means exactly, but I'm guessing it just means I need to reset the turtle, move it back to its starting position. The viewership number is off, because it says there's one viewer watching right now, but there's two of you guys in the chat, so I'm not sure how that works. But anyways, uh, Happy the Third says, so couldn't you put the wire through the latch side? That would require running it across the doorway and then back across. It would be difficult to keep it there, but that's possible. Happy Dick the Third says, I guess it would be strung across the floor then? Yes, that is true. Llama! Yes! The poor llama is lost. Yes, this uh, computer craft mod is like there's turtles, there's llamas, there's actually is llama a part of computer craft or part of like an add-on thing or something? Not entirely sure. Lupsonay says, "Yeah, just follow the instructions." Okay, so let's follow the instructions. Let's reset this turtle. Let's get him back beside the tree where he is supposed to be. So, uh, since he's already lost, let's break the turtle, put him back here. Advanced felling turtle, that looks good, and he had blocks of charcoal. He also had, um, what else did he have? He had saplings, there we go, saplings, okay. So, uh, yes, llama is lost, so directory, okay, so delete dot llama, there we go, and delete dot movement stack directory okay so that should be good now so if we go ahead and restart this turtle it should go and harvest the tree like it's supposed to uh, okay spinning in circles that's a good start oh nice okay so it's off so not entirely sure how it got off track but it is back on track and hopefully it will stay on track that would be good Wait, where's the chunk boundary? Nope, that would be the full screen button. <laughs> okay, well, let's try that again. The chunk boundary would be F9. Okay, are they outside of the chunk bound? No, they're in the middle of the chunk. That's, okay, so that's not it. Anyways, okay, so this one needs to be fixed. All right. Um, I predict the third says, maybe I'll, maybe I'll like the mod then with turtles and llamas and such. <laughs> It's possible. It's possible. All right. Happy to the third says I must go record. All right. Have fun with that. And you're deleting the poor llama. Uh, no, it will automatically recreate the program, the dot llama program. So that is great. All right. Here we go. There would be the turtle over here. Advanced felling turtle. And put that guy down there, and take this, and throw in the block of charcoal, throw in the saplings like that, and whoa, okay, that's not where you're supposed to be going. Stop, 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 terminate, 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 terminate. Okay, let's send this guy back manually. That would be kind of a thing. Loops and I say is, for the Ethernet cable, you could cut a hole through the door frame for the cable to go through. That... Sounds quite complicated, but that sounds like it is a possibility. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. That sounds like possible. Po sounds like possible? Sounds like a possibility. Uh, Llama is an API from another computer craft user. It also, um, also licensed MIT, so it means that I can use it if I credit them, which is as a comment in the code. All right, nice. Happy the third, Happy Ducky the third says the turtles are quite cute. Yeah, they uh, they they are. They can be. Yeah, that is true. Lupus and says delete then move. Ah, okay. Uh, Happy Ducky the third says ooh spelled llama, not llama with two L's. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's go up. Go. Let's see if we can predict exactly where this needed to go. Let's do this all in one shot. So back, 
uh, then turn left, so now he'll be facing this way. So back, left, back, right. So let's start with that. Back, left, back, right. Then he'll be here, then back, back, and then back, back, and then go left, forward, right. That should be good. Left, forward, right. That's ah, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, is it going to work? Nice. Okay, so it's back in place. It's because of starting the program on startup. That's the issue. All right. Happy to the third says, why on earth is Llama spelt with two L's? Anywho, that's a good question. That is a good question. Very good question indeed. Happy Ducky says, I'm getting distracted. I'm supposed to go record. All right. Well, you do that. Um, okay. So let's see. So um, directory up. Oh, let's delete that slash. There we go. So let's do this delete thing again. Delete. Uh, delete. Dot llama. And delete. Dot movement stack. There we go. Those are the things that keep track of where the turtle is. That's the thing. So now it's reset where it thinks it is. Now we should be able to just restart this guy. And it should spin around in the circles on the spot. Okay, well, that is not a, that is uh, actually working correctly. Nice. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it is working as it is supposed to be. That's nice. That is nice indeed. We forgot to do the uh, customary bug test. Computer craft turn on. Okay, everything is on. So back to the point we were making drawers we were making a stack of drawers that was the idea and we've now got those turtles fixed so they're back running and we will have plenty of wood at full speed that would be very nice indeed that would be nice indeed wood would be nice and this would be drawers let's put the chests in there grab the drawers the planks make some more drawers so basically we're making the drawers we're going to make them into the upgrade templates and then we're going to make the upgrade templates into actual upgrades that's the idea that is the idea indeed oak wood blanks here we go let's grab a little bit more of that there we go 57 drawers we're getting pretty close getting pretty close indeed whoops didn't mean to put those there meant to put them there this would be 67 we can't do 67 to fill up a stack let's do uh 57 58 9 10 11 12, 13, 14, that should be 64. Yes, that is 64. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Indeed. Lupton says Ethernet again. There are things which use plugs in your house's power lines to send Ethernet signals. No idea how it works, but I do know that it's more likely to work with newer wiring as older stuff usually corrupts signals. Uh, yeah, we don't have... Like, I know some houses have ethernet like built into the walls or something we don't have that uh i think what you're referring to is running it through the power lines which would be like an extra expense i think it'd be better probably to just try to try to get it through the door somehow that's the idea okay so we have 18 chests just waiting for us to, uh waiting for us here and 64 basic drawers so we have a stack of basic drawers we need to grab some upgrade templates how do you make those things drawers and sticks. Okay, so let's take some drawers, take some sticks, let's make uh, let's make half a stack of upgrade templates. That sounds like an idea. I think that would be a quarter stack of drawers because it doubles. So sticks. Lots of sticks. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of sticks. Let's make a whole pile of sticks. That is so many sticks that we probably will not be able to contain all the sticks. Actually, we will be able to contain the sticks, but we won't be able to, we, uh, we won't need, actually, we will need all that many sticks. Never mind. We need a lot of sticks, apparently. We need to grab, actually, some more sticks. That would be not ideal, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. Let's grab a quarter stack of logs. Let's turn these logs into sticks. That would be planks, and this would be sticks. And now we have... You could say that we have a sticky situation. That's the thing. We do, in fact, have a sticky situation. And there goes our sticks. This would be... Aha, there we go. Half a stack of upgrade templates. Nice indeed. Happy Ducky the Third says, Oh, by the way, I fixed my Minecraft sound effects problem. Ooh. What, uh, what did you, how, how, how? Happy Ducky the Third says, If I just turn the Minecraft sound all the way up, 
and my computer sound all the way up, the mic can pick it up okay. Okay, yeah, we'll have to get you with a better setup soon. Um, it's still a bit quiet, but pretty good. Right. Uh, the what I need to say is, a modern sound driver should have a loopback option. Uh, yeah, that's... We, she's using a 2011 Mac, so there's no built-in uh, sound loopback option. So we'd have to see what options are available to do those things. Um, I do have a couple of, like, I do have a spare USB audio input thing, but that is quite wide, and she only has two ports. So that makes it a little difficult. When you have a microphone, power plug, you'll have a mouse, you have uh, different things, and no USB hub. That kind of makes it difficult. All right. Haparuki says, yeah, I'm using QuickTime at the moment. Yeah, that's the other thing, set up with OBS to be able to record two inputs at once. That would be essential as well. Lufthansa says, on Windows it should turn up as a microphone called Stereo Mix. Yeah, it does on Windows. It doesn't on Mac, though. That's the thing. Mac is a little more complicated for that. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, and Happy Day, he says, it's the quickest option. That is true. That is true, for the moment at least. So, what do we have here? We have... Half a stack of upgrade templates. Those things can be used for any upgrade. We have void upgrades already. Uh, we want to get, though, before we start voiding things, we want to, uh, you could say we want to avoid voiding things. So what we're going to do instead is we, well, not instead, but at first, is we're going to do a storage upgrade. Now, the storage upgrades, this storage upgrade increases storage to two times the base value. So if our... Compacting drawer holds 16 stacks per drawer. That's what it appears to hold. So 16 stacks. So 2 times the base value with a basic storage upgrade would be 32 stacks, which is nice. How much is a chest? A chest, a double chest, is 7. Nope, that would be 9 times 6. And 9 times 6 happens to be 54, if I did my math correctly. So we have 54 stacks in here. So if we have 32 stacks per drawer, that is not a full chest. That would be 9, 18, 27, 36, so 36, 35, 34, 33, so about to here. Start filling in this corner, fill all the top up to about here. That would be if we double the base value of our compacting drawer. Except for the fact that it's storing blocks, although our chests were intended to store blocks, so that doesn't make a difference. So, but what we have here is the storage upgrade 5 increases storage to 32 times the base value. Now, here is one reason. If you guys have been wondering why we're making such massive machines, here is one reason why we were making massive machines. Because, uh, slight detail, side point, the storage upgrades, you don't have to apply them in order like some mods. If I read correctly, you can just apply the final large storage upgrade just like that, which would be great. What is this? Conversion upgrade auto converts compatible items. Ooh, that's interesting. But this can be applied just by itself. We would need to apply one to every drawer if we want to do this comprehensively, which could be expensive because it's two emeralds per storage upgrade. That's 32 times the base value. But we happen to have quite a few emeralds. How many emeralds do we have? That's the first question. Let's check on our emerald storage because that would be down here, and that would be, in fact, and we really need an, we really need an elevator over there. That would make it a lot easier to get down. Okay, emeralds. We have how many? Let's grab with an empty hand. 121 emerald blocks, 1,000 emeralds. We have 1,000 emeralds, so we should be able to do some things with those 1,000 emeralds. We could make as many of these massive storage upgrades as we would like. That would be great. What is this? Storage downgrade reduces base storage to a single stack. That is interesting. Not necessary, though. Liftony says... Um... Sales. Oh! <laughs> Happy to the third. Yeah, the, the quickest option is using QuickTime. Yeah, that is, uh, that is a play on words. That makes sense. Um... Not exactly what Happy Ducky said, but that's basically the idea. Libsony says, there's a kernel add-on which does it for Mac. It's called Soundflower. Yep, that is, that's what I have on my Mac. Um, I would have to install it on hers. Do you happen to know, 
just off the top of your head what the link is because I know it's like changed uh, changed hands a few times in terms of who's updating it. Um, like, don't bother looking it up. I'll just have to look it up sometime. But there is a technical issue, which means I'm a little concerned about doing about adding a kernel extension, which we we can talk about in a minute. Um, but okay, so here's the thing with the emer uh with the I don't know what I was gonna say about the emeralds. So that is that is that. But it's because we have massive emerald production that we're able to do all these things. So storage upgrades. Let's go for a bunch of storage upgrades. And that would be, how many drawers do we have here? Let's add one to every drawer. So this would be 4, 8, 12, 16, almost 20, 19. So 19, so that would mean 38 emeralds that we would need. So not two stacks. How about 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go, 38. And let's... Drop that in there. There we go. Okay, so we have 38 emeralds. Let's go ahead and create some storage upgrades. Get these barrels upgraded. Now, oh yes, here's the thing, is how much does that give us? So a double chest was about, like, a whole pile of stacks. It was 9 times 6, which would be about 54 stacks. Now, 32 times 16, 32 times 16 equals 512. So 512, how many double chests would that be? That would be... I forgot the number. 9 times 6, 54. So 512 divided by 54, that would be the equivalent... Each one of these drawers would be the equivalent of 9.5 double chests. So that would be quite incredible. Let's get these crafting, because 9.5 double chests, that would be like having... This is, well, for example, up to there is only 6 high, so up to there, 7, 8, 9, so almost up to the roof there is how high the double chests would be stacked for each single item if we do this storage upgrade. So this is probably completely unnecessary, but it would be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun indeed. So let's go ahead and get all of these storage upgrades going. We need a bunch of sticks. We need some upgrade templates. We have a bunch of sticks. That is good. Let's split that, put that there like that. Let's go ahead and put the upgrade templates in the middle, put the sticks around the outside. There we go. We actually need nine more. We are out of sticks, though. So where are the sticks? Oh, wait, we have more sticks. Okay, let's use the extra sticks. That might be enough to complete the task. Upgrade template there. And what do we have here? We have... Where'd it go? Oh, there's our emeralds. There we go. That goes in there, and the sticks go around the outside. And, ooh, that's still not quite enough sticks, and we're out of wood that we have with us. So let's go grab some extra wood and see what happens. See what happens indeed. So, oh, here we are. Here we, oh, no, the wood is upstairs. Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, need to jump. Need to jump. There we go. Okay. Wood, please. Wood is here. There we go. Okay, half a stack of wood would be great. And now, that can turn into planks. That can turn into sticks. The sticks can turn into upgrades. And that would be great. This drawers mod, this drawers mod requires so much by way of wood that it's a really good thing we made that tree farm first because this is like we're just burning through stacks of wood so fast it's like crazy 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 indeed okay so here we go we put the emeralds in there once again now that we should have enough to complete the job and now put the sticks in there we go there we go that is good there's upgrade templates we have storage upgrades increases storage to 32 times the base value now just before we apply that, though, we do want to be able to see if the drawer is full. That's the idea. So this one shows full storage. This one shows the fill level. Now, that's ideal to show the fill level, but it requires redstone comparators for every drawer, which requires quartz, which is not easy to get. So I think we will just have to go with 
shows full storage. The reason we're applying this first is because that would make it better uh, in terms of we can act, we can actually tell if the upgrades are applied properly, if it's actually showing us if the drawer is full, etc., etc., before we upgrade the storage to a size that will take ages to fill. So let's get these upgrade templates, these upgrade full storage things here. Uh, what does this... I don't know, should we just go for the nether quartz? Although that's two nether quartz per storage upgrade. That's like close to a stack of nether quartz, which is not easy to get right now. So, yeah. So let's, yeah, let's go for the, this thing. So let's get some more upgrade templates. Upgrade templates indeed. All right. All right. Right. Luke Rain says it's not... It's only not easy because you have not automated soul sand. I was going to make a program for that, I think. That is possible. I can't remember. There were several points along the way that weren't automated yet. Um, but you know what? We can always change the upgrades later if we want. So let's apply these first. Let's say... Okay, the flint is definitely full. Um, what? I thought it's supposed to show a thing at the bottom. That's weird. Okay, shows full storage. I thought it was... Oh, wait! Is it different because of the different type of drawer? Okay, so if the drawer is full, it will show, like, a red line up like that. That's interesting. That's interesting. You know what? Let's take... Let's put on our most valuable drawers. Let's put on how much is in it. So, for example, this one being stuff that we don't use very often, we'll just put on a storage fill level thing there. That flint drawer apparently is not actually full. That's probably what's going on. So that's why it's only partially red. But, uh, okay, so the diamonds and the emeralds, I think, are the main ones that we want to see if they are completely full. So let's put on those ones Let's put, wait, that's the wrong flint drawer. <laughs> that's the wrong flint drawer. This would be the flint drawer down here. So here we go. There we go. That one is full. All right. All right. Uh, Dr. says you have all the ingredients for wood sand. Wow, my spelling. Are you, do you mean soul sand? Uh, I don't know if we have the ingredients for that. I don't. What were the ingredients? I don't remember. Um, but okay, so let's make a couple of fill level upgrades. Let's put them on our diamond and emerald so that we can tell those particular ones because they are very, very helpful indeed. Um, okay, so where do we get the fill? So we need the quartz. Quartz is over here. Quartz is over here. There's six quartz. Let's grab... It would be two. It would be four for two of them. Okay, so it's four quartz. And... Okay, so a bunch of redstone torches. So four comparators. So four times three, twelve redstone torches. We need stone. That would be great. So twelve redstone torches. Where would be... I think we already had some torches. Let's, let's just make... Let's use our sticks. Let's just grab some redstone and make extra torches. So, 12 redstone torches. There we go. That would be 12 redstone. Put that in here and turn this into a bunch of torches. There we go. And we need we have a stone with us, which is nice. Let's make a bunch of comparators. Four... Yes, that's what we're looking for. Four comparators. And then sticks, upgrade templates, and more redstone. So, that would be four redstone. We already have sticks, and we have upgrade templates. So four redstone, just like that. There we go. And now we should be able to just simply grab that. Shows fill level. All right, we have two upgrades to show the fill level. We'll add those to diamond and emerald. That will be very nice to have. So diamond, emerald. Ah, I see how it works. So it's kind of like a progress bar that fills up over time. That is neat. That is neat indeed. All right. Lupsarine says, Witchwater and Sand makes Soul Sand, I think. 
Yes, I think those are hard to come by. Uh, which water is water and spores? I forget the specific spores. Yeah, I th yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, um, if you put dirt around barrels of which water, it will make it into mycelium. If you then replace the which water with normal water, the mycelium will convert the water to which water for free. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. We'll have to get to that at some point. Um, so at the moment, I guess let's not bother with, we know that this works, we've tested the fill level meters, we know that they work, so let's just go ahead and add the storage upgrades now, and we can add some more level meters later once we get to that, if we still want to do that at the time. So, let's add that, there we go, storage upgrade, that is a massive storage upgrade, and here we go, let's start adding them along like that, so that that, 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 there we go, that one, that one, that one, and remember each one of these that we add upgrades the barrel's storage capacity up to the point where it's basically almost up to the roof there in double chests worth in a single barrel. That is the key. Um, okay, so we did that one, we did, we don't, we didn't do that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now they are all done, which is nice. So now we can start going ahead and moving some of these things around. So particularly, let's go ahead and, uh, what else did we need though? We needed, we didn't need the void upgrade yet. We'll do that next, but first we need to sort out our slots because we have multiple barrels, multiple drawers with flint in them. So we'll take all those flint and combine them into one, which will be a little bit difficult to do if we're still having items get put into the system. So let's cut off the items coming in. That would be the idea. There we go, that is now cut off. So what are we gonna do here? I think perhaps a hopper would be very slow but might be the easiest way of doing this. So let's go ahead and take the flint, grab a hopper. I'm just trying to think if there's a way to combine it to get, oh, one hopper for each. Okay, so here's here's the idea. We're going to take this out of here. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be our flint drawer. That goes there. We need to take the other flint drawers and put them beside it with hoppers. So let's start with that. And this one. And this one. That should be three. We should have three. Okay, so all of our flint can combine into this one drawer, then we will have absolutely massive amounts of flint, which will be great. Um, so, we need three hoppers. We have one. Let's make a couple more. So we'll combine them all into that drawer and then put that drawer back. This should work. It would be very slow, but we can go on and do other things while it is doing its thing. So, two more hoppers. Here we go. There we go, just like that. There we go. Okay. Three hoppers. That is nice. Okay, and let's put that there. One, two, and the third can go on the back. And I think that was all the flint. I don't see any flint over there, so that's good. Okay, so here we go. Compacting drawer. Compacting drawer. And compacting drawer. And we should see. Whoops. There we go. Let's drop all that stuff in. We should see, yes, okay, it is taking stuff out. Oh, it takes it out by the block. Oh, that's actually going to be a lot faster than I thought it would be. That is nice. So this is filling up very quickly now. It's got the storage upgrade. That is nice. That is nice indeed. It's filling up so fast. Oh, and the nice thing here is that you can't actually take out the storage upgrade because it's uh, that would reduce the capacity below like the items that are already in it. So you can't actually take it out, so that's nice. That is nice how that's going to work. You won't lose items by accidentally taking it out. All right, Lipsrain says... So, Soul Sand just costs sand and some investment. That's true. The non-compactable prismarine shards being in a compacting drawer still bothers me. Yeah, well, it's, that's true, but it's kind of not really worth 
doing anything about it. Like we would have to basically we'd have a wall of uh, what's that? That's not brown. That's gray compacting drawers, and then one brown wooden drawer in the middle. That just seems a little odd. Although it might actually look pretty good, add some variety to the wall. That's possible. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of it depends. It's kind of one brown drawer in the middle of it might look a little odd. But speaking of this, we need to actually set up a hopper thing for this too. So let's make a whole bunch of hoppers actually. Let's make, let's say, four more hoppers. One, two, three, four. There we go. That like that. There we go. Actually, let's just make one more since that's all, we, all the iron that we have left anyway. All right. There goes the hopper. And here goes the compacting drawer. Compacting drawer gets put on top. And now we should see it all go into here. We want to lock the drawer. How do you, oh, you use a key to lock the drawer. That makes sense. Okay, so a key, lock, nice, that's good. Okay, so this should be filling up just fine. Yes, it is, that is nice. Okay, so we have all those things getting combined. So next step, so we have the flint being combined. We have the prismarine shards getting combined. What else is taking up multiple slots? That's the big question. This is zinc, this is tin, this is silver, this is alu uh, aluminum. So they all have separate things, so that's good. Coal, coal is another problem. Coal is a problem indeed. We need a key, first of all, drawer key. Lock that coal drawer so that will always be coal. And we need to also grab the, I'm just trying to think, these things are so similar. It's like, that's iron, we know where that is. These other things are so similar <laughs> that it's like, how do you tell the difference between these things? That is definitely, definitely the question. Okay, let's grab this coal. Let us begin combining the coal. That is the next idea. So, hang on, where'd it go? We're missing a drawer. Oh, drawer's floating away, okay. There we go. There's two ways to float in this basement. You can float through the air and you can float in the water. But the neither of those are ideal. So which one is that? That's the wrong drawer. That's the one that's supposed to go in. This is the right drawer. And then we can put a hopper on top of that. Where's our hoppers? There they are. Slot 9. Compacting drawer on the top. There we go. And that's that. Okay. Nice. Okay, so this is going to go very nicely. Okay, so that is on its way. So we are pretty good now for things. They're all being combined. How close are these to being done? Empty hand. That would help. 180 blocks left in that one. 370 blocks left in that one. 370 blocks left in that one. Okay, so these are going to be a while. So we will go ahead and come back to this. We'll have to reconnect this to our storage. Once this is done being sorted and we have them back in their proper spaces, that is the idea. So let's move on to the next thing, which is probably probably uh, Luvenia says fix the prismarine when you consolidate them. I guess that's possible. I don't know. What do you think is better? Do you think it's better to have a a bunch of prismarine in a compacting drawer when they can't compact, or is it better to have them in a singular wooden drawer in an entire wall of stone drawers? That's kind of that's kind of the question. That is kind of the question. Um, but at the moment, at the moment, we need to check, make sure that this machine is fully fixed like it should be, which I think it is. If it is, then we need to go ahead and work on the reactor. We have a fair amount of things to do with the reactor. We need to get the program fixed. That's one pretty essential thing. Oh, if we could connect our wood downstairs, that would be great as well. Um, but we need to get this reactor fixed, get it, uh, get the program fixed, and we also need to get it fuel. Specifically, we need to get the reactor connected to the drawers in the basement, because the drawers, wait, they should have the Elorium. Oh, they don't have the Elorium because it actually hasn't made it in yet because the system is backlogged. That's what's happening because over here, everything is coming into that drawer and this is all backlogged. The Elorium should be coming from where exactly? Wait, was that Elorium? 
Oh, Eulerium comes down here, I think. No, okay, so yeah, so if it comes here, then it... Ah, yes. So the Eulerium is here, which means that the Eulerium won't get into the system downstairs until this hopper unbacklogs all the zinc for the first thing. This uh, zinc needs to get unbacklogged from there and from there. Okay, so basically we're gonna it's gonna take quite a while for our system to go ahead and unclog everything. This chest is now empty, which is great. That's off to a good start. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take quite a long time. We need to sort out the barrels and then start working on that. So, um, okay, so reactor is one thing that definitely needs to be done. So let's go ahead and head on to that. Um, and then we need to go ahead and upgrade the drawers with more upgrades, like probably a redstone upgrade. Probably, I don't know, do we need the auto conversion upgrade? But we do need the void upgrade for sure. That is pretty much essential at some point, but not yet. Let's start with the react. Uh, start with the reactor and start with actually pronouncing the words properly. That would be the idea. Okay, so here we go. Let's head over to the reactor. So, where did we leave this thing at? That's the first question. So this thing is currently at. It has 40 in uh, iron in it. It is producing a whole pile of power. It's basically full. Um, I think is it automatically running? Warning, power demand exceeds generation, gaining power. Okay, so it appears to be running properly. So why were we doing this? Uh, did we already fix it? I can't remember. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like it is running properly. So do you guys remember what we had to do with the reactor? I can't quite remember. Oh, wait, this guy's for something. This guy's for uh, directory. No, we've got nothing. Um, okay, fuel input. Okay, so I guess it's connecting the fuel that's the big thing we were trying to do. That seems like it would be... That seems like it would be the idea. Okay, so, and also this, so cyanide, oh yes, 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 did we want to upgrade this? I don't think it's necessary yet, we could upgrade this with the whole extra turbine thing, all that for extra efficiency, we could do that. Um, it's not necessary yet though, so I think what we'll do at the moment is head back inside, unless you guys remember something that we were supposed to do with it that I completely forgot about, um, but... I think we'll get the drawers thing finished if we can. Let's go ahead and put the oxygen tanks back on, just like this. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's let's see about these void upgrades. We're going to need a whole pile of them. We're going to need to basically... Oh, this is done. Oh, these are all done. Nice. Okay, that is actually very, very good. Very good indeed. Okay, so since these are done, let's go ahead and reassemble our drawer setup thing here. That's that, that's that, and that's that. Oh, and we will have a very difficult time telling which drawer goes where. That is the thing for sure. Okay, so let's try... They all say content sealed within. Okay, so it is basically a 33% chance that we can find the right ones. So let's put that down there. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try the second one. Nope, okay, so, okay, a 33% chance, and we get it on the last try. We're supposed to have four. We're missing the drawer that is containing all of the flint. <laughs> where did that go? Okay, hello, flint drawer, where is... There we go, there we go. That is the drawer that contains all of the flint. Okay. There we go. That is better. That is much better indeed. Okay, so we have all of the flint in there now. That's great. Okay, compacting drawer here. We can put the rest of these in place. Although, we'll wait on that because we need to get the other ones in place first. So we have basically... How are we going to sort all these? We have basically the sorting of... We have... Typical metals here. Then we have more odd things here, like flint, this thing, um, lapis, <laughs> sorry, I forgot the name for a second. Need to pay attention better, need to get more sleep also. Um, okay, so flint, 
lapis, all the things that are sort of not ingots. Diamonds are in the ingot section because they're kind of the next level of ingots, more or less. Emeralds beside diamonds. Um, so next we have coal, which I guess would go... Um, oh, what if we actually... Oh, oh, okay. So the more standard things at the bottom. So iron, then gold, then diamond. And then we have the mod stuff at the top. So I think what we'll do here is we'll do a similar idea where we take the coal and put the coal... Let's grab the fourth drawer. There we go. And let's grab this. Okay. Let's put the coal, I think, down here. So we have flint, then we have... Well, you know what? Gold, wait a second, I'm picking up lapis. Gold is less desirable than iron. Flint is less desirable than coal, typically. So let's put coal at the bottom. And then, flint above that. So coal would go here. There we go. There's our flint drawer. The flint would go right above the coal. Because coal is a lot more desirable, typically. So, okay, so then the flint goes beside the gold, because that's, for armor at least, gold is less desirable. So that's that. This should be the flint, uh, should be the lapis drawer. Lapis can go above the diamonds, because it is one of those odd things that you don't really want very often, but you sometimes do. So, okay, so that makes sense. So that goes there. And then we have a whole pile of things. We have prismarine, we have a whole bunch of mod metals, we have all kinds of different things. How should we sort all of these? That is the big question. There are many ways that we could sort all of this. So I think all of the all of the like the white looking things together might not be a smart idea, but that's probably what we're gonna do. Let's see, what's this? This is zinc. This is tin. This is silver. Wait, tin? We have only one block of tin in here. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's because our system's backlogged. So we have zinc, tin, silver, and aluminum. So all of those things together are very similar. So how should we organize this so we can find anything? That's the big question. Um, Wait, some of these are Galacticraft stuff, some of them aren't. This is not Galacticraft, this is Galacticraft. This is not Galacticraft, and this is not either, I don't think. Is it? Let's see. But I, yes, yeah, so this is Railcraft stuff. Okay, so, what we shall do is we shall put the more desirable things at the bottom, as we have been doing, uh, this would be, I believe this is an empty drawer. Here. Um, okay, so this would be Galacticraft stuff. We use the Galacticraft items all the time, constantly. So, this would be, wait, there's multiple Galacticraft metals. What metals did we need for that? Because basically, what do you guys recommend? How do you, how do you guys recommend sorting all these things that look almost the same? Because <laughs> that would be very difficult to try to sort them out, try to keep them straight. Um, okay, so dash, we have dash things, we have, okay, so we will hopefully have dash at some point, that would be great, uh, ilmenite is rather, oh, rather rare, um, okay, what else do we have here, we have laser turret, ooh, beta testing phase, please report bugs, that looks interesting. Um, okay. Lead. Okay, so we don't have a lot of those other ones. I think, let's put them on this side, actually. Put them on this side, beside the iron, because the iron is also white. So, it sort of keeps with the color theme here. So, this should be the aluminum. So, let's put the aluminum down here. Nope, that's the wrong way around. Okay. Let's try that again. Whoops. There seems to be a semi-auto jump. We don't have auto jump, but if you kind of get caught inside, like just on the edge of a block or something, occasionally it auto jumps, which is interesting. Okay, so this is now aluminum. So we have the Galacticraft aluminum right there. We have the iron right here beside it. We also have now prismarine. Let's put prismarine at the top, I think. 
the top over there looks pretty good. And grab this, grab this, grab this. Prismarine can go here. There we go. There we go. Okay, and all these should be locked, right? Yes, it looks like they are all locked. Except for this one. We need a key. There's the key. Lock that, lock that, lock that, lock that. There's a lot of them that weren't locked. Okay, so we now have a whole bunch of empty drawers. Okay. Okay, so Galacticraft stuff in that row, probably. Loops, I need to say, be right back. All right, see you. I'll see you in a uh, in a minute. So, iron, Galacticraft metals. These things are not Galacticraft. This comes from Railcraft, and this comes from Railcraft as well. And this comes from Railcraft as well. These are all Railcraft things. So I think we'll just have to guess which one's which when we go to use it. Um, I think silver is more common. Tin is more commonly used by us for sure. Zinc we don't use very often. So I think we'll put a separate row for all the Railcraft stuff. Might be an idea. And then... Okay, so... Yeah, so I think if we put... Silver, tin at the bottom, tin probably at the bottom, and then zinc on the top. So tin at the bottom. Drop those things, get them out of the way. Tin, please, thank you very much. Okay. Tin can go at the bottom over here. There. And then this would be silver. Silver goes next up. Okay. That's good. Okay, so silver goes there. Tin, silver, and then zinc goes at the bottom. There we go. Nice. Okay, so this is looking good. We can now add all the extra compacting drawers into here. These would be all the empty ones. Not sure why they're not stacking properly here, but they are good to go. So let's put that like that, that like that, and this like that. There we go. We just moved part of our system over, but it should be good. Grab that hopper. Okay, fill in the floor. And now we look like we are good to go. That is nice. Okay, so we can go ahead and reconnect the system. We're probably going to need quite a number of extra drawers. Oh, we're missing one. There we go. There we go. Come on, put that down there. Okay. Okay, so looks like we are good to go. We have five spare drawers, which is nice. We have the Minecraft medals and a couple of mod things there. Oh, Yes, that's interesting. That's interesting. Our sorting system with Railcraft, Galacticraft, Minecraft, and more Minecraft non-metals, that sort of breaks down when you get to the copper here, because copper is from what mod? Copper is from Railcraft, although I think it comes from other mods too. I think there's a Galacticraft copper, but this appears to be the Railcraft copper that we're getting here. And so that could go in the Railcraft row... And then that is Nickel, and Nickel is from which mod? Railcraft once again, so that is interesting. Copper is definitely something we use constantly. I think we'll leave them sorted this way, and we will maybe do something about that later or something. Not entirely sure. I think these should really get swapped, though. We're getting on to all kinds of details that don't really matter. But I think these should be stacked on top of that, because I don't think we're going to get too many other things. You know what? We need to sort after we get the rest of our metals in here. That sounds like the best idea. So, let's go ahead and begin the process of bringing in the extra materials. So, oak trim. There. Okay. So, we are now connected to our sorting system. We will now begin getting things very quickly. Oh, yes, redstone. See? Immediately. Immediately we have redstone, and we do have a storage upgrade in there, which is good. We don't have a status upgrade for when it's full, though. So let's go ahead and make one of those very quickly. So we need a lot of status upgrades. Um, where did our status upgrades go? Wait, where are... Oh, they are in this one. Okay, that's... Oh, we only had one status upgrade? Two status upgrades? Okay. So, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and make the status upgrade. Let's go ahead and get it so we can tell when the drawers are full. That will tell us, 
because before, see, here's the thing. What we really need to do, we really need to connect the system to our main storage upstairs so that we can, uh, to our main production system to shut the system off when we are backlogged and full and all that. Uh, but until we can set up a complicated system like that, if we can just tell which drawer is backlogging things and then start adding void upgrades and stuff, that would be helpful. So where's the, there we go, status upgrade thing. Redstone torches, sticks, and redstone. So lots of redstone. Good thing the redstone has started arriving. We have 3,000 redstone to choose from already. So let's go for a stack. Two stacks. Nice. Okay. Time for... Um, shows full storage upgrades. Let's make... 19 of these that we need. Minus 2. So 17 of these that we need... And 17 of these, they come in sets of one, so 17, we should have, we don't have enough upgrade templates. Okay, make some more upgrade templates. Let's go for five of them. There we go, 24, okay. So, now that we have the upgrade templates, now we can turn these into 19 full storage upgrades. This would be 38 redstone torches that we need. 38 redstone torches. Nice. Okay. That is good. And we can now make the next upgrade. That's that. Okay. And lots more sticks. All right. That's not how you make sticks. I think it's about time. You know what? I think... What do you guys think? I think the streams might be more uh, more interesting if we go ahead and keep like changing things every like we've been going for an an hour on one project. I think maybe half an hour per project might be the best thing to do. I think if we go ahead and uh, and do that, that might be good as a matter of like normally what we do. That seems like the idea. So let's go ahead and add these upgrades. These are the status upgrades. So I'll have to plan that for next time, assuming I remember to plan that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and add these status upgrades to every drawer. Every drawer should have a status upgrade. There we go. This is on the way. This is on the way indeed. And now, that's that. We have four left. Somehow miscalculated everything. Oh, because we actually have two extra ones in there. Okay, but that is good because we will need them eventually, but we now have status upgrades on every drawer. We can see when one of them fills, which is nice. Now this should have, yes, this has a storage upgrade, so we're good to go as far as that goes. All right, so, so this is all coming in. Is there a way we can speed up the items coming in? That would be ideal, and then we can see what else we can do here. So. This, uh, oh, we actually have three hoppers going into this thing all at once, already. Okay, so I don't think there's any way to speed that up. Not that it's really necessary in the future. Two hoppers going into this one, two hoppers going into that one. Uh, in the future, it won't be really necessary to have it sped up. It's just as it is trying to clear the backlog that it's kind of an issue. But I think we're okay. This is full on blocks of redstone. Um, this is, yep, okay, so this is all coming in very nicely. And that's clearing the backlog very nicely. Now, where is that chest coming from? Oh, that's coming from up top. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Lipfinity says, one of these days I will say be right back, and the chat will take it as an excuse to misbehave. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's a thing that can happen. A thing that can happen indeed. All right, so we are waiting for it to clear the backlog now. So basically, it's coming along very, very nicely. Very nicely indeed. We have everything with fill level upgrades. We have, like, most things that we need. We do need to get void upgrades. I think we can just go ahead and add void upgrades to everything, because 32 stacks... No, 32 times the base value. 9... Was it eight and a half or nine and a half double chests worth of stacks of blocks? Um, is probably way more than enough for any system. 
So I think if we go ahead and just add avoiding upgrade to everything, we won't be avoiding things too much, but we will be avoiding a backlog situation, so we can actually get plenty of diamonds that way. That would be ideal. So let's... There we go. Okay, let's start applying voiding upgrades. That should be good. Um, yeah, I was saying while you were uh, while you were gone, Lupsonade says 64 stacks. I think it is. It is 32 times the base value, and the base value is 16 stacks per drawer. So that... You can do the math on that, but that is just like an incredible amount of items that are stored in each one. So I think, with that in mind, I think we can go ahead and do voiding upgrades and not have to worry about a thing. Uh, but yeah, I was saying like while you were gone that I it I don't know it feels like I don't know if it feels like it to you guys watching or not. But it kind of feels like when we get on a project that we stay on for like an hour or a long time like that, that it can start to feel like it's dragging on and getting kind of repetitive. I'm trying to get the chair in the right place here. Um, so I don't know if maybe an idea is to do like half an hour per project or something, or maybe 45 minutes or something. Because then that way we can do, like, work on drawers for half an hour, work on the reactor for half an hour, work on, like, whatever different things. That's one idea. Or we could even, like, work on this for half an hour, then work on that, and then come back to this. That seems like it might be an idea. Uh, it says, so, 32 times 64 stacks of compressed items. Oh, 16, not 64. Still, 16 times 32 times 9, that's... A, uh, 18,432 items. That's a lot of items. 18,432 ingots more if it's nuggets. I don't really understand exactly what you mean, but I would guess that 18,000 would be the block number. Most likely, I think, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so that would mean the ingots would be far higher than that. Oh wait, you already calculated for that, didn't you? That's what the times 9 was. Yeah, okay, so 18,000 ingots per drawer. That is probably way more than enough for anything that we would want to do with this thing. So I think if we go ahead and apply void upgrades, there is no risk of voiding items that we would uh, happen to want. So upgrade templates, lots of obsidian. We have five upgrade templates, so the obsidian won't be, like, we won't have enough upgrade templates to make this happen on every drawer yet, but we can make some more of those. Let's start with the obsidian, start with a stack of obsidian, that sounds like a good idea, and we don't have the inventory space to refill that right now, so let's forget about that for now. Head back down and try to continue the voiding upgrades. Once we have that done, I think I think our drawers will be mostly ready to go, and we shouldn't have any more issues with them, like ever, until we're draining too much power with our machine upstairs. That's possible. Um, okay, add that, add that, add that, 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 and we're adding them to empty drawers because the drawers will begin to fill fairly soon. Um, here's an odd question. Does the input thing only take from one hopper at a time, or does it take multiple hoppers? Because redstone's the only new item that we've seen. So what are the other items that are coming in? That's the big question. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. This, this is... Ooh, prismarine. Okay, we already have a prismarine drawer. That's why we're not seeing that one. Okay, so, yeah, so the ingot number. Lipsonian says 18,000 is the ingot number. I see. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so this is now bringing in prismarine here, so that's why we're not seeing it. This side is bringing in redstone. Not sure why we have two bringing in redstone. Um, this side is bringing in nothing. And this, nothing. This, nothing. And this... Nothing, this, nothing. Okay, so basically our entire backlog is in these two hoppers. This one's bringing in prismarine. 
and it will soon be bringing in redstone. This is bringing in red. Oh, it's bringing in redstone because we had a whole huge redstone backlog up there, and then we had to take that and put it in random places. Okay, so we have so much redstone coming in, and then we're going to get our zinc extra. Then the Elorium will begin, which will be great. Elorium is what we need for the reactor. So, okay, so is there a way to speed this up? Because obviously having it kind of backlog this easily is not ideal, but I guess we'll just let it do its thing. We could always add an extra... You know what? We could add an extra controller thing over here. That's possible. But we could just forget about that for now. Uh, Lupinia says... Hoppers push into the controller, the controller is not pulling. Okay, so all the hoppers should be pushing. Okay, speed it up, manually move things, that's possible. Not really worth it though. Not really worth it though. Okay, so there's a couple things we could do at this point. We have a bunch of different options. We have materials that aren't in the drawer system, such as our wheat over here is not in the drawer system. We should also get the drawer system running to up here so that we can get the bone meal to this guy. That would be great. Um, then there's also the other things. The tree farm upstairs is not connected to the drawer system. Drawers, uh, yeah, drawers, yeah. Okay, keep getting the wrong word there. I thought I got the wrong word again. Um, okay, so we could do those things, add those variety of things. Cobblestone as well is not in the drawer system and gravel and sand and all those things are not either so those are possibilities um ideally we should do those after i do the pack update to get the extra like recipe things in there for the ender chests in particular ender chests would be great uh it says reactor now that is quite possible that is probably the next thing we should do Although, we looked at it, and what did we have to do with it? I'm not entirely sure what we had to do with the reactor. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. So, we have here, this is running just fine. We could add more fuel. If we could add a pipeline to get the fuel over here, that would be great. With an item transporter turtle. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so let's set that up. So on the uh, the lower side, I'm really surprised this has not gotten hit with a meteor yet. That is quite crazy. You look at how many meteors are in this one, this one area of the base roof over here. There's so many meteors, even two on top of each other over here. Well, I guess one on top of the other to be specific, to be uh, technically correct. And this just bare line going by there's not been hit with anything it's even open to the sky so well actually this part goes underneath but the corner is open to the sky so that's interesting but uh yeah so that's interesting but i think if we use this pathway maybe extend the pathway a little bit maybe make a second layer or something to it we should be able to actually have it go and bring the items through the computer craft item transporter program bring the items through into the reactor be able to fuel this thing now here's the thing here's the thing uh says bone meal to the wheat farm sounds more like an ae thing yeah that's the other thing applied energistics requires materials that we can't make until i do that pack update that uh, you sent me the scripts for. I'm going to have to do that. Um, but, yeah, so that would be the future. Lipsani says, you have the new program running, I think, for the reactor. Yes, I think it is the new program. Um, these would be old status messages, by the way, for those of you guys who are wondering. Um, okay. Was it setting up the fuel management system? Yes, that's what we were doing, I think. But what... Okay, you'll have to remind me, what was the fuel management system? <laughs> that's the first question. What was the management system? Was it, like, what was it supposed to convert into what? Etc, etc. 
I'm so confused on how this thing works that it's like ridiculous. But uh, okay, so one thing we can do is is it worth getting a turbine? Because we could set up a turbine possibly. We might have enough materials for it. Let's see. We've got quite a bit of cyanate. Jupiter says that it that is it. That's the new program. Put a modem on the input and output hat put a modem on the input and output hatches of the reactor. Okay. That would be this thing and this thing. Where's the modem? We don't have any modems. We need a modem! Modem, please. Modem, please. Okay, so we get a modem, get this thing set up for fuel management of the reactor. I'm curious to see what it is that you've programmed into this thing because I don't understand this system at all of in terms of what the reactors do. So, let's see. Where would be modems? Modems would be... Oh, we can put the redstone away here. There we go. Applied energistics would be so helpful right about now. But we don't have them yet. Lapis can go in there, getting a little bit of extra space here. Um, random silver ingot. Okay, that can go there. There, rather. No, not there. Where does the silver go? I thought we had a silver chest here somewhere. That's, no, that's not silver. Where is the silver? That's weird. Have we not gotten silver from our Galacticraft machines there? That's interesting. Okay, well, we'll hang on to that for now. Or, actually, we have so much of it. Let's just drop it. Okay. We Oh, we're almost at the point. We're almost at the point where we can build out of metals. That would be great. Okay, let's work on the reactor here. So, let's see. Um, yes, fuel management. So, modems. We need modems. We need lots of modems. We need wires as well. We have wires, networking cable. We need modems, which happen to be... There's tin wall blocks. They happen to be over here. There are happen to be no of them. No of them? There we go. That's uh, proper English for you. Computer craft. Where's computer craft? Computer craft, computer craft, computer craft, computer craft, computer craft, computer craft. CC tweaked. There we go. That's what it is. Modems, please. Where are they? There we go. Wired modem. Okay. Stone and redstone. So we're going to need two of them. All right, let's make a bunch. Let's make a bunch. Let's grab redstone, grab some stone, and make a bunch of things. All right. Where are we here? To be redstone, like five, four. Let's make ten. And some regular stone as well. All the regular stone that we could want. Nice. Okay, redstone goes there. Stone goes there. And this would be a bunch more. There we go. Ten wired modems. Convert them into the block form. Uh, we probably don't need the block form. Ah, let's keep the block form. Okay. Let's head out here. Now, the only difficulty with this is that if we do attach these and get it all set up to go... It'll be difficult for us to manually fuel the reactor. That's the difficult thing, because we'll have to actually break the modem in order to do that. So that's not ideal. Livre says, Computer, once peripherals are connected, will now take fuel from the chest and put it into the reactor as needed. Oh, okay, so we don't have to break the modems. <laughs> not sure why I thought we'd have to do that. Uh, Livre says, Likewise with taking cyanide out. After that, I can guide you through the reprocessing turtle. Okay. You want me to inverse the modem recipe in the craft tweaker script. Make the full block one the default. I don't know. It, uh, I don't think it really matters. Um, block modem saves a cable. Yes, that's true. That is true. That's true because you can pass the cable through the modem. So that goes there. That goes there, and cable, networking cable here. Do we have a jetpack mod? <laughs> Sorry, jetpack random. Okay, we don't have a jetpack mod. We do have a Litra, though, we could get. We could get an Elytra, which could be good, because if we happen to walk off the edge, that's not ideal, obviously. So, actually, that could be actually quite a fun thing to try. If we could get an Elytra, um, the thing with that is that we'd have to go to the overworld first, 
and because that's where the end portal is. I think we can make um, Eye of Ender. Let's see. Eye of Ender. We should be able to make that soon. We have, we can make blaze, we, yeah, we have blaze powder. Ender pearls we don't have, but that is in the recipe add-ons that Lucas Fedandy made that I haven't added to the pack yet. So we should be able to make Eyes of Ender. So the only thing is it would seem kind of odd to go to the overworld just to go to the end portal and then come back to the asteroid belt. That kind of defeats the whole thing of being stranded in the asteroid belt. So I don't know, but that would be fun to get an Elytra. Actually, is there a uh, crafting recipe for it? Elytra. No crafting recipe. These are to enchant it, but we want... We can't do that in a thinking pack. That's one of the rules. We do need... We could... I, I don't know. I mean, this is a repair. I'm pointing at the repair thing, talking about enchant. These are enchantments, but those are repairs. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Lufrey says... Um, they'll look up end cake. Actually, let's just look up end. Uh, actually, let's not just look up end. That's a lot of things. Cake. Okay, what's an end cake? End cake requires an end crystal and eyes of ender and a cake. Cake is makeable, I think. Sugar. We don't have sugar cane. That could be an issue. Do we have sugar cane? We might have some from the sifter thing. Um, but end crystal requires eye of ender and glass and a ghast tier. Now, that, actually, we probably already have some of those. We might have some of those already. Yeah, okay. End cake, I'm guessing, takes you to the end. That would be interesting. That would be good. We could actually get to the end, get an Elytra, be able to fly around places. Can we make rockets? We should be able to make plenty of rockets. Rocket. What is... Oh, wait. Fireworks. Fireworks. Oh. Why don't we have... The thing... What's it called? The thing that the... Um... The people, the mo like, I don't know if you guys watch Hermitcraft or other modern series, but they always have, like, these rockets that they use to fly around with the Elytra. Is that a newer feature? I thought it's been around for years. What's it called? Rocket. It's not a rocket. That's for sure. Loops and it says, teleports you to the end. Eat again to get back. Remember to bring one to get back. Okay. Fireworks don't show in any eye, I think. Oh, so how do you make them? How do you make them? That's an interesting question. But we could get an Elytra. Is that is that uh, is that a good goal? Get next. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one thing at a time. We need to get the reactor for uh, fixed. We can make gas tears. This would be a difficult recipe. Let's just check the end cake again. This would have to be done after we add the recipe for the Ender Pearl in. Which is a thing. So, but yeah, that that could be interesting. Then we could, if the Elytra works, in the end, you know what? Let's test that. Hang on. Let's quit the title. Let's just test. In the test world, does an Elytra work in the asteroid belt? That's the question. That is the question indeed. Okay, so Elytra, Elytra. There we go. Fireworks. So, fireworks star. Uh, Lupinini says they use a fireworks star, which did show up. I believe that the fuel system is independent of the control system, and you could have the reactor program in manual mode, and the computer will still keep it fueled. I should read my code again. That would be amazing. That sounds quite complicated, but if that's the way it works, that would be incredible. Um, okay, so fireworks star is what you craft it with. Let's drop these things. Um, and see. Let's try, let's get actual fireworks rockets too. Okay. Fireworks star is crafted how? No recipe for the fireworks star. Fireworks star. No recipe on it. Okay. That's interesting. 
But what we do have is we do have the ability to test if the elytra works in the end. So do we actually have an oxygen system on? I don't know. Let's see. Slash game mode. We're in a test world, by the way, if you guys didn't catch that. But okay. We do have an oxygen system on. We have a creative tank. So that's good. Okay, so let's try to put on... Oh, we have an elytra on already. Okay. So, um, I guess the big thing to test... Now, we do jump pretty far. Lufrani says, nope, fuel system does react to manual mode. I should consider how to get fuel to that thing when in manual mode. Yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be helpful. Although it doesn't... Yet, with the size reactor we have, it doesn't drain power too quickly. So, we could have it on manual for a long time before, before we ever run into an issue, I think. Um, okay, so, let's see. Um, can we even use the Elytra because of the low gravity? <laughs> I think we can't even use it because of the low gravity. Okay, well, that is a bit of an issue. Let's see if I can do it from midair. Oh, we can! Okay! Really? You can use the Elytra to get around. Now, obviously, we're encountering quite a number of obstacles. Little mini asteroids that are very difficult to see. So I guess the best thing to do... <laughs> oh, see? We just ran into one. Um, the best thing to do, we would need some healing, uh, for one thing. And we would also ideally have a night vision potion, which we can't actually get. So we would need some way of seeing in the night. But we can use the Elytra... <laughs> okay, so explain this. Explain why we have wings on in the asteroid belt where there is no air and we can fly in survival mode. Explain how that works. But okay, that'll that'll do. That'll do very nicely. Um let's try landing on this asteroid here and then here we go. Whoops. Okay. There we go. And now we're back into normal mode. Let's go into third person so that we can try this. So you can't enter Elytra mode just by jumping because you jump so far. But if you jump, hit the top of your jump, and then enter Elytra mode, then it works. <laughs> okay, so we could totally do that. We could totally, yeah, this would be great. This would be a nice fast way of getting around. Not only fast, but it means that we could, oops, ouch, we, we could kill ourselves by running into two asteroids in a row, apparently. So we would need some armor. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Do we, uh, let's test how much the armor uses, how much, like, how much the armor protects us. But we could not only get around faster, we could also make it so that if we fall off the base by any undesired circumstances, we could go ahead and get back onto the base just by using the Elytra. That would be great indeed. That would be great indeed. Um, yeah, let's put some armor on and see how much that protects us. Now, the difficulty with that is that we can only put armor on the legs and boots. If we have our sensor glasses on, we can't put the helmet on. Um, let's check uh, chest plate. What options do we have? We have... Okay. We have chain, iron, diamond, gold. Okay, so... Diamond is plus 2 armor toughness, plus 8 armor. Let's look at the plus armor for thing first. So plus 8 armor for diamond, plus 8 for heavy duty, plus 9 for dash, plus 10 for titanium, plus 6 for steel. Okay, so plus 10 for titanium and plus 1 armor toughness. Plus 2 armor toughness for diamond. What is armor toughness? Is that worth the extra 1 armor toughness for diamond? Well, it's minus two on the armor. So the best thing would be titanium, which the recipe for that titanium, you get that from titanium shards, which I don't know where to get that. That might be, you get that from ilmenite or also, I think that's in the asteroid belt somewhere, but not sure exactly where to get it. Livni says... Uh, you could add extra input slash output hatches for manual usage. That's interesting. I'm not sure how to set that up, but that would be interesting. Um, you need to jump and crouch for a liter to work. It's not the easiest thing to use. Based on how water doesn't instantly boil and other things, 
There must be air in Minecraft space. It just must not have oxygen in it. That seems to make sense. Seems to make sense. Gibson says Galactic Galacticraft space Galactic Craft space to be more accurate. Advanced Rockets has an airtight suit. Not sure if fluid boil instantly though. Wonder if turtle.inspect would say air. Oh, okay, let's check that. Let's check that. So, what do we have here? We have um, titanium. Yeah, oh, okay, so one thing at a time. First thing, which armor are we going to make? Plus 10, plus 9. Okay, plus 9 for dash. We could, whoops, we could make dash. Could make dash, I think, because dash comes from... No, we don't have... Well, we could only make that if we have enough of it. I don't think we have enough of it left. Because I think it's only on Mars. Titanium, I think, is in the asteroid belt. Not sure how to find it without a big search. Um, heavy duty chest plate, though, plus eight. Diamond would be better than heavy duty, actually. So diamond would be our best option, plus eight armor. Our best makeable option. So diamond would be pretty easy to make. So let's get some diamond. Diamond. Let's get. A whole stack, a whole set of diamond armor, and see how this does. See if we damage ourselves too much with half an outfit of diamond armor. Uh, we need to eat something, though. We need to heal. And then we're going to go around and see if we can actually... Oh, this would make exploring a lot easier, too. We could explore a variety of asteroids very quickly this way. And with our goggles on, we could uh, we could find metals very, very quickly. Uh, yeah, turtle dot inspect. So while we're waiting to heal, game oh, one, let's grab a turtle and see. Advanced turtle, okay. There we go. Let's see what this says. Turtle here. Slash game mode zero. Okay. While we wait to heal. So let's inspect the uh, space and see. Luba, turtle dot, oops, spell properly. Turtle dot, turtle dot, inspect. No block to inspect. Okay, so it doesn't say air. So that's interesting. Okay, we're almost full health. We're going to see how quickly we die from running into asteroids. Because those little mini asteroids are so hard to see while we're flying that we will hit some for sure if we start using the Elytra often. That's for sure. So Now the other thing is how do you repair an Elytra? Because everything is through an anvil. You can, oh, repair it with leather. Oh, that's pretty good. We would need to get some cows going, or rabbits apparently. But that shouldn't be too difficult, seeing as how the sheep were actually pretty easy. Okay, so here we go. We are now at full health. We have half armor. Let's go. You said something about you need to jump and crouch for Leecher to work. Um, let me try to get the timing on this better. Let's try crouching and jumping. Crouch, jump. Okay, so... I think the only... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to double tap space. And I'm... Aren't I? Okay. Whoops. Okay. Hang on. Let's get the timing better. Let's try double tap space first. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, let's try shifting first and then double tap space. Nope. Okay. Let's try... Um, tap once, shift, and then tap again. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, okay, so I think the only thing to do for it is to jump up, and then on the way down, enter Elytra mode. That seems to be the only way to do it. Okay, so our goal on this flight is to run into an asteroid. That's that's our goal. Um, it would be a lot easier to run into a large thing than a small thing. So I think we'll go ahead and run into a large thing if we can. Um, here we go. Let's head up. Let's run into that big wall. That seems like a good idea. And let's see if it takes half our health to run full speed into the wall. It still does. Okay. Uh, second question. Hello. Whoops. 
yeah, see, that's that's the difficulty with this stuff. Um, second question, now that we're back up to full health, <laughs> accidentally, is if we have the helmet on, because theoretically, if it's intelligent about which slot gets hit, um, theoretically, if you have a helmet on, then we should hit our head into the wall and not take half a health worth of damage, theoretically. That's the idea. Let's just go ahead and quickly give ourselves some more rockets. There, okay. And now, game mode 9. No, 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 no. We're looking for game mode 0. There we go. Okay. Lupinine stays. Uh, you can also fly with Kinesis Augment. Really? What is that? Kinesis. Kinetic Augment. Okay. Yeah, Kinetic. Kinetic Augment um, allows controlling your body via the neural interface. So what does that take to craft? Whoops. That takes a potion of leaping. Okay, that looks actually more difficult to make than the Elytra. So, yeah, so I think Elytra might be fun. The difficulty is the durability on the thing, but let's try. Okay, so let's jump again, start heading down, and enter Elytra mode! Nice, okay, so now that we have a helmet on, we should be a little bit better protected. Let's try running full speed into the wall, and it still took just as much damage. Okay, so that didn't help didn't help at all. Is there a way to make it take less damage? That would be ideal. That would be ideal, but it looks like we could go for the Elytra thing. That could be good. Alright. Lupine says potions are not allowed in the pack, I believe. That is true. Oh, it's in the script. Oh, you mean uh, you mean you changed the recipe? Oh, yes, I have to add all those things. That is kind of essential. Okay, so let's head back into the main world here. Now that we know that Elytra's, for some unknown, illogical <laughs> reason, Minecraft logic for you, you can fly with wings in the asteroid belt with no air. Now that we know that, that sounds like that should be our next goal to aim for, because we've basically got that metal production machine working. It's, uh, there's just still a few minor side things to do with it, but yeah, okay, so let's turn this on, let's get back to the reactor thing, and uh, okay, here we go. So, uh, what did you want, how, how was this supposed to be set up? I've got those connected now. Um, let's try, I'm guessing it needs configging. So, warning, fuel system offline, chests or hatches not found. Okay, so I'm guessing it needs configging. So let's go ahead and terminate this. And directory. Okay. Edit. Startup. Slash. Extreme reactors. Lua. Okay. Required config is there. Optional config. If you don't have these peripherals, then you can... Then you can ignore the config entry. The computer will try to continue with, a, with stuff like that. Um, something about edit. The Steam... Flow rate. Where is it? Edit the config if you know the ideal steam flow rate. Okay, so which parts are the config that we're supposed to be dealing with? So, okay. So what we're going to need to do here, and turtle reprocess or side config. Okay, so we're basically what we're going to try to do now is we're going to try to tell this computer what is the fuel input, what is the fuel output on the reactor, and also, this would be the fuel input. We need to get that configured as well. Oopfany says, add two chests and then config. Two chests. Oh, we have one chest there. Um, is that the chest you're referring to? Or you mean one on top of each of these? Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm just going to add one on top of each of these. One chest. And two chests. There we go. That should be good. Loop of Vanity says, ignore the turtle and turbine bits. Okay. So, uh, reprocessor. So, is it the turtle reprocessor? It wouldn't be the turtle reprocessor. Um, ignore the turbine. Okay. So, fuel chest name. 
fuel input hatch name, cyanide chest name, cyanide up. Oh, this makes sense. Okay. Fuel chest, fuel input, cyanide chest, and cyanide output. Okay, so this would be the fuel chest. So, okay, so let's let's do that. So we don't need this as a fuel input then, I don't think. Let's grab that. Put this here, okay. Let's grab a sign and let's put the sign. Hello, there goes our sign. <laughs> okay, we have a couple of extra ones. This would be fuel input. Fuel input. Lufthansa says, uh, you need a cyanide out and a fuel in. Okay, so that should be the fuel input. This should be the cyanide output. Cyanite. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Out. Put. Or rather, spell it. Okay, so there we go. Fuel input. Okay, so. Wait, could we actually have the fuel input all the way over in the base? That would be interesting. That would be interesting instead of having an extra item transporter computer. Although, I suppose if the connection gets severed, then the reactor control program would get cut out as well. So probably best to have them on two separate systems because the line has to go across the meteor territory. So yeah, so let's start with this. Okay, Lipsonese says... You need... Uh, yeah, I read that already. It's right in the program. I won't trust my spelling of cyanite here. Okay, well, my spelling's good enough for now. We, we know what that means. Um, okay, so, fuel input. So, let's go grab some fuel so that we can test this. And we'll have to config the thing as well. So, where's the fuel? I was about to say, just saw the obsidian on the way in, and I thought, oh, instead of building out of diamond, we should build out of obsidian. That would be not so great, because you can't break it. <laughs> it's like almost impossible to break. Not impossible, but it's pretty close to impossible. Um, okay, so let's head downstairs. So I guess uh, other materials other than uh, obsidian would be ideal. Oh, that one's empty now. This one is not empty now. Where is it at? Oh, okay, we have t uh, tin going in here and aluminum going in there. This is unclogging up there too. And here we have redstone and zinc. Redstone and zinc. Zinc Yellorium. Okay, so here's all the Yellorium. So, Lufthansa says, uh, FYI, blocks of Yellorium are valid as fuel. So it will take ingots or blocks, because that would be good, because I don't know which is going to get pulled out of the uh, <laughs> of the storage system downstairs once, once we connect all this. Um, so, okay, so if it takes ingots or blocks, that would be amazing. That would be amazing indeed. And where's the exit? Where's the exit? The exit would be over here with the elevator. There we go. Whoops. Stay on the middle center of the platform, please. There we go. Whoops. That's okay. Didn't mean to go that high, but it works. Wait, does that, did, did that get hit with a meteor? No, we just didn't fill that in. Okay. Back to the point, back to the point. So we now have a little bit of Eulorium to test it with. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fuel input, that goes there. We could use some glowstone, oops, <laughs> not in there. We could use some glowstone in this area. There we go. And maybe one on each side of the pathway as well. Might as well make it look semi-symmetrical, even though that part isn't really symmetrical, but uh, yeah, okay. So, fuel input. So we have Yellorium ingot there. We have the cyanide output. Uh, what next? Config. That's what we need to do next. Apples, please. Alright, time for the config. So, fuel chest name, that would be the input, I think. That would be what exactly? That would be chest 61. Okay, chest 61. Okay, fuel input hatch name would be the last thing on the list here. Big reactors colon tile entity reactor access port underscore zero. Okay, fuel input hatch name. Big reactors colon tile entity reactor access port 
underscore zero. There. Okay, save that. That should be the input. Cyanite chest here should be 60 and access port 1. So cyanite chest is chest 60 and access port is access port 1. It actually already is 1. Okay, that's good. So that should be everything, I think. Okay, so exit, restart, fuel buffer empty. Oh, it took all of the items into it. We can't actually tell how many are in the reactor right now. But it took all of them into it, which is good. And what about the cyanide? Took some cyanide out of it. That is nice. That is nice indeed. Loop says you can click you can click in advanced computers. That is true. We can navigate easier in advanced computers. Uh, Loop says it works. It works in the edit program as you will expect. Okay, so that is that. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So let's, uh, okay, so this should be good. So we have cyanide output, we have fuel input. Nice. So next thing we need is to connect the Eulorium to the fuel input using a item transporter computer. Now, uh, what I need to say is buffer empty means that the input chest is empty. Okay. Okay. So in order to do an item transporter thing over here, the difficulty, there are a number of difficulties. The first difficulty is getting the thing connected, but that is pretty easy. It's just a matter of length of cable, etc., etc. Um, but what is going to be difficult is that if we actually head into the basement here, you can see that we have no Eulorium yet. So that is kind of an issue. No Eulorium here because, so we don't even know where it's going to be once we get it because it's still backlogged in the system. And I also don't know how to pull it out of those drawers. That's the other issue. So the Eulorium is currently where exactly? Currently in this chest. So we're going to get through all of the zinc first before it does the Eulorium. That's probably what's going to happen. So, yeah. So that's that. That's going to be going like that. Um, okay. Oh, I just had a thought. Is the reason that it keeps saying, like, I assumed that was just the way that it does it, says that the power level exceeds generation or something? But is it saying that because these things are trying to run and they're actually draining too much power for the reactor? I don't see any issues, so I think we're okay. All right. All right, all right. So, yeah, so we need to get the Eulorium down into the basement. So let's go ahead and uh, set that going here. Half a stack of Eulorium here. Let's put a half stack in there. And let's grab another stack of Eulorium there. Let's put it... Oh, there we go. It's going through. Oh, nice. The Eulorium's going through now. Nice. Okay. Okay, so we're getting plenty of Eulorium in. The Eulorium will start showing in the basement. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... You know what? I don't know. How do we get... How do we get the stuff... Can we get... Can we connect directly to the reactors, um, or to the, not the reactor, directly to the drawers. Can we connect the item transporter turtle directly to here? What would it do? Because of the whole three items thing. That is the question. That is the question indeed. I don't know. I don't know. So that could be a complication. Also, how to apply that to the whole, um, the unit thing is full, so shut it off, deal. Because the drawers are all right beside each other, so anything we put behind it means that we can't put something else behind it. So if we put a thing to automatically take items out of it, then, see, I think, I think we're going to need applied energistics at this point. Because, uh, Lupsonian says the power demanding warning is whenever it's not gaining power. I should change that. Um... That's possible. It's good. Uh, it would be a little less confusing if there was a message saying power's full, so then you can see the last message in the chat, or not full, but like is 
satisfactory or something. So then you can see the last message in the chat. Um, yeah, so, okay, so I think we're going to need applied energistics to get the items from out of here because if we connect redstone to the back of every one of these to try to detect when to, sh when to shut the system off, um, then that would be complex. Oh, I just thought we could perhaps use logic gates, sort of like the calculator, binary calculator thing from a while ago. That might actually work for sorting out which section of the machine should shut off. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, so the idea is if we put redstone on the back of this, we can't put a thing to pull stuff out on the back of it at the same time. So I think we can't do that, but what we could do is the thing where we use the drawer controller and actually take the drawer controller, use applied energistics to interface with the items and have applied energistics push Eulorium out into a single chest that then Computercraft can grab from and take it up to the reactor. Um, that might be the easiest way to make this work, which means I would have to update the pack before we can do that. So that's kind of a thing. Um, we also are almost out of oxygen. We don't really want to die due to lack of oxygen. Not again. Not again, sir. Not again. Oxygen, please. One swap there, and one swap there. Okay, that's good. One there, one there. All right. So I think that's the idea. So I think what we're going to have to do here is, as you said, blocks of Eulorium work as fuel. So if that's the case, I'm just going to grab a stack of... Whoops, that's not supposed to be there. Um, a stack of blocks and see... 43 blocks, 43, uh, whoops, that's the wrong way, okay, 47 blocks, that is pretty good, we're obviously still filling this thing up actively, um, but yeah, I think if we can just manually, we can also turn this back into ingots, whoa, that's a lot of stacks, okay, so I think we're pretty good on stacks of Eulorium. So, okay, so I think if we'll just manually move the stuff to the reactor for now, then that would be pretty good. Bring this all the way over, and then the computer can automatically refuel it, but the fuel will be here in a chest full, rather than a single stack inside the reactor full. Now, that's probably good enough, judging by the speed at which we use these things, probably good enough to just have that. So that would be great. Um, yeah, so I think, I think, I think that we should be good as far as the computer goes. We have a little bit of maintenance to do on our drawers downstairs. Lufthansa says, um, Plethora should even be able to pull specific items from the controller. Really? Okay, I have not a clue how to do that. That is the big question. Although we do need an applied energistic system anyways, because we need to be able to access our items without having to go all the way into the basement every single time that we need something. So we need to be able to have access to it everywhere in the base. That would be the ideal scenario. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of maintenance on these drawers. Let's go ahead and lock that drawer. Lock that drawer as Eulorium, and lock that one as Redstone. So those are all good. What else do we have? We need have a storage upgrade and a status upgrade. We should have that in each one. Oh, a void upgrade. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so void upgrade. We need how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six more void upgrades. Six times eight obsidian is 48 obsidian. We have 24 on us. Oh, yeah, we needed... Uh, wait, what was it? One, two, six. Okay, so six, so we needed more upgrade templates, that's for sure. That is for sure. Upgrade templates, six more upgrade templates. Let's go for, yeah, let's go for a bunch of these, because we're going to need a bunch, probably, as we start expanding the system more. So, okay, so upgrade templates, a bunch more obsidian, here we go, that's good. Three more obsidian upgrade templates, and that's that, that's that, that's that. And we need three more, so that's a bunch more obsidian. Three times eight. Twenty-four. Twenty-four obsidian. 
Let's grab that, and we'll be good to go. Good to go indeed. This would be down here. Okay. 24 obsidian, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There we go. Okay. Do the upgrades. Just like this. Upgrades. Uh, obsidian, this gives us a voiding upgrade. And now, our system should never backlog. Which means that we actually, at this point, um, once the current backlog has been gone through, at this point we shouldn't, the operative word is shouldn't, need to do anything more with this system, unless we don't actually have enough drawers to do everything. But we should be good to go at this point, where it will void excess items once it's full, which means that we should be able to just let the machine run constantly. Now, obviously, that would use a lot of power, and with not having the Elorium connected to the reactor, that's not ideal. Uh, once we connect it, though, it should be like an infinite system where the reactor produces the Elorium through this system that then gets fed back into the reactor, and we should have excess Elorium left over, so we should never need to shut it down. So we might not even need that fancy shutdown materi uh, material contraption. So, yeah, so that's possible. That's possible, but I think we are done with these drawers, except that we just have bone meal that has just come in here. So let's go and lock that. There we go. What else is still to come in? That's that's the big question, because we have one spare drawer. One spare drawer. Lufre says, um, yeah, unless you upgrade your reactor, that amount of fuel will probably last you until the end of this playthrough that yeah that's uh, that's the thing so you mean like the amount of fuel we've already produced or you mean the amount of stuff that we're yet to produce as we're going but either way that would be good um, so okay so zinc redstone zinc already has a place to go redstone already has a place to go this is all zinc okay so I think everything that could go into that storage system from this metal production system is already in there. There's a few side things that we don't have, such as like gravel, sand, dust, and cobblestone, and wood, and different things that could get put into that storage system. But I think, unless you guys think it could be otherwise, but I, I think that probably those particular materials are much more useful up here, where we tend to spend a lot of our time rather than having to actually go into the basement for everything until we have a light energistics set up. Okay, so that guy's where he's supposed to be. That guy is totally not where he's supposed to be. Oh, and neither is that guy. Okay, so wait a second. Do I need to update those programs? Did I miss an upgrade on those two turtles? That's quite possible because that's twice in a row now. We just fixed them earlier in the stream twice in a row that they get out of place, but the other ones are still going and still in place just fine. So it's likely that I missed an upgrade on those two. I'm going to have to fix that. So, okay, so I think that's about it. I think I'm going to have to end the stream here. We're going to have to come back next week. And unless, I think we got everything with the reactor that we were supposed to do this time. Um, if not, let me know, and we can hopefully do it next time. Um, and we'll see if I'm able to update the pack this week. Then hopefully we can start... Working on getting an Elytra, getting to the end, getting an Elytra, that would be quite incredible if we could do, if we could do all that stuff. That would be kind of our first destination. Um, we haven't been, obviously, to the overworld yet. We haven't been to Mars or the Moon or Venus, which is a new planet. The first destination that we could go, if I managed to update the pack this week, would be to the end to get an Elytra, which would be interesting. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. We'll see how that changes the game. Obviously, having an Elytra be, would be quite uh, useful indeed. Lupfine says, just the reprocessing turtle, but that can wait. You might be able to figure it out. Check the screenshot in the GitHub. Oh, yes, I forgot about the reprocessing turtle. Okay, so, next week, we're probably going to work on the reprocessing turtle for the reactor, and hopefully get on to the Elytra thing if I manage to update the pack. So, that's the idea. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. See you guys next time.